Ooh, had to shift. Really had to shift. Oh, that broke. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. We got a lot of heavy tilo jackson, so you want to stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get into the video. Also, almost forgot to say Merry Christmas, everyone. Man, I am definitely not going to finish tonight. Just by looking ballpark, I'm about halfway done. So I'm looking at that hillside right there. It's pretty sandy. I don't think I need to work that. But for the most part, everything here is like pretty flat, pretty darker soils. Like on the sandy stuff, it's already light ground. There's not going to be much compaction on that, especially on a hill. So I might just, when I get to that, I'll just probably raise up and get to and work the bottom and the top, not the, not the hillside. Bald Eagle, America. Oh, he's going to fly. Oh, he's hunting. Get him. Oh, he got something. Before I saw that American goodness. Look at that. Yes. He just flying the click line looking for food. Anyway, what, was, what I was going to say is the uh, it takes about eight minutes or so to get the to basically make a full pass right now. So it's, I'm, if I'm doing nine acres an hour, eight minutes, I'm doing over an acre per pass. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, how this works is I have the transmission set on auto. It is load sensing where it's going to basically gear up and throttle back every time that the load isn't required. It'll gear up like I'm going to hit a hard spot here soon. It's going to, yeah, I'm at 110 engine power. If it gets too much, it'll throttle, it'll uh, gear down. But for the most part, it's going to stay at a higher gear, lower throttle, because that's going to save me fuel. So when I don't need the power, I won't use it. So yeah, it's kind of a neat system. And like I said, I have my raise and lower controls all on my armrest right here. This is really a gravy job right now. Let's get the drone up in the air. It's pretty much golden hour. Let's go.
hope you enjoyed that drone footage. Also enjoy the sweet sounds of this tractor getting lugged down because it's going to, we're going into a little dip. Ooh, had to shift. Really had to shift. Just that little dip in there, but man, it was hard pulling. I, feel like, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the Steiger transmissions always shift hard. I mean, they always they end up shifting always, but it's always just a harder shift. Anyway, I've done right around 40 acres, just shy of it. Probably close to 39. We're moving about halfway through this field, and it's uh, 3.45 right now. I'm going to get a lot of it done tonight, but I'm not going to finish it. I know that, because I'm going to quit here in like three hours. Like I said, at nine acres an hour, that's only 27 more acres, so really can't do a lot, but do some at least. Those are my productivity numbers. Watch this engine start to lug. We're going to be burning around 22 gallons an hour fuel. Oh man, we walked right through that. Never mind, I thought we'd have to downshift, but yeah, when this tractor works hard, it burns around 22 gallons an hour. When I'm in like easy going, it's around 13 gallons an hour, so I'll probably burn it about on average 16 17 gallons an hour in this unit and when you do the math let's just say we charge hundred dollars an hour per tractor for for hour for tractor hour on this i don't know exactly but i'm just doing rough numbers 100 bucks an hour on this thing plus the tool 20 bucks an hour for my labor i'm not that's not what i charge but i'm just giving an overestimate and then if you're burning around 16 gallons an hour fuel at 325 a gallon that's right out, we'll just say 50 bucks an hour for fuel, so that 55 to make it easy. So that's 175 bucks an hour. And if we're doing nine acres an hour, that's roughly 20 bucks an acre. So in order to make this operation pay, does doing this make at least $20 per acre? Divided by $5 corn, that's four bushel an acre corn that we gotta gain. We're easily gonna do that because the check strips that I did made at least four times that. When we did this when we did this operation on ground that hasn't ever done that before so it's an easy choice for us to do this it's yes it takes time yes it takes fuel and burns hours but the gain that we should get from it should very well justify it so that's the reason why we're doing this just got word that nathan's gonna bring the cat and the big chisel down here to the south farm and he's gonna work some corn stubble so we're gonna have both of our tillage tractors that are running right now running down here so if he gets here in time we'll uh, throw the drone back up that's pretty neat. Wee, this stuff is compacted. I was just in third gear for a while. Trying to get some editing done while we're just going eight, eight minutes back and forth. But uh, this track is so dang loud, it's hard to hear. I spy with my little eye. Kitty cat. We got our cat MT865B and Will Rich disc chisel DCR or something something. Going on the road, it's just about here. I'm gonna get the drone up here soon.
some sweet drum footage but you guys probably noticed at the end that I left like a little chunk right there well I don't like to rip this highly erodible area so low spots water pads whatnot so I decided not to rip through there because a pretty not a washout but it was a deep draw so I didn't rip through it it probably could have used ripping that's for sure but uh decided not to just because I don't want to lose any soil so went out and looked at my shanks again and really everything's looking pretty good knock on wood I've done about 75 passes or so worked about 46 acres not too bad and it's only been six hours not too bad something that's really cool right now is i can see the planes jet trails in the sky right now extremely clear because this sunset is just straight gorgeous we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right in my view right now i mean people may make fun of us and iowa being a flyover state but I'll tell you what, you don't get these type of views in New York City. So I'm on a little hilltop. It's a really light hilltop. You can kind of see. See how there was no plant residue here. Really light soils. I decided to mark it out at 82 to 96. You can kind of see swath numbers. I'm going to mark it out so that way when it gets dark and I finally make it over here, I won't be able to see near as well because obviously it's dark, you know. So I, that way I know when or what number. So 82 to 96, I'll lift up when I'm going up and down that hill. I love and hate this time of year. I love it because it's not to love. And hate it because it's 445 and the sun's gone. Whatever. Well, I was gonna ask, well, now here's the real question. Who's gonna win the light game? Well, I see Nathan already lost. That's him right there. And her neighbor over there has his lights on. I guess I'll cave. Doesn't hurt, even though I'm literally going 15, 18. No, 15, 18? Yeah, 15 feet at a time. Well, it's officially dark. And there's a little bit of dust flying, so that's good. It's drying out. I still feel like it's really good conditions. <coughs> I need to bring water next time. I still feel like it's really good conditions to be working ground like this. And I'm not spitting excess. I'm not tearing up the ground or anything. I mean, it's perfect conditions to be doing this in my opinion. So what I find kind of strange is the acres per hour on the corner post, the A post, 9.86. This one up on here is 8.9 to 9. I hope it's the one on the A post. That's right. We'll see. Uh, can you guys even see me? Now you can. Sorry about that. Nathan's still plugging away. He's got rocks to deal with. So he's in a 45 acre field right now. That's pretty good. But as soon as he goes south, he's got more rocks to deal with. So I don't know how late he's going to go. I know I'm only going to go for probably another hour or so. Just got to touch base with the wifey and see what she thinks. Um, there's plenty to do here. I mean, I could be up here all day tomorrow and still not get done. Darn it, I still forgot. Sorry about that. So we'll keep plugging along. Not a whole lot has changed and hopefully nothing will change. Well, it's been a couple hours since I've done another walk around. So let's hop out and make sure nothing's broken. Points are still there. My wings are still there. Looking good, looking good. Oh, that broke. 
Yep, she done. Probably gonna have to call it quits here soon because that is not doing what we want. We want it to kind of lift up and break up that hard pan. Yep, you have to replace this one too. This one's about ready to fall off as well. Sweet. We'll go for another 20, 30 minutes and call it quits. So I can definitely tell that that rightmost blade doesn't have any wings anymore because you look behind it, there's hardly any ground exploding out. It's kind of just like a, a straight shank, no black kind of, you can't really see hardly any black dirt like you can on the right five. So I'm gonna shut down after this pass. Nathan's gonna go get some shank or some uh, wing blades tomorrow from Kunau's. There's two of them will change. So I'm actually gonna park this over at the Quonset uh, up at the shop there, right next to the chisel. And we're gonna call it a night. All done, let's go. Sweet, I'm gonna let her idle down for a bit, walk over and grab my car. So the cat is parked right there. You guys probably can't see it because GoPro does not see at all at night. I'm gonna go walk over and grab my car, come back here, shut the tractor off, double check all the wear points, make sure there's nothing else broken. I'm gonna tell Nathan to bring a grease gun down to grease all those grease fittings. It's like six or seven per shank here. It's kind of a lot, but six or seven, they're gonna bring some tools to uh, replace those two wings and they're gonna bring uh, fuel and def. So, we're gonna call it a night, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, we'll be back again tomorrow. And uh, if you guys did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, comment if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, ta-ta for now.